Viola Davis is, of course, one of Hollywood's biggest stars, known for Academy Award-nominated performances in films like Doubt, alongside Meryl Streep and Philip Seymour Hoffman, and the 2011 film The Help, with Octavia Spencer and Jessica Chastain. Well, right now, she's fresh off her historic Emmy win for Best Actress, playing Annalise Keating in the hit series How to Get Away with Murder. And in a sneak peek of this week's episode, a new video threatens to blackmail Keating's team or tear it apart. Take a look. Get to hold the grudge right now. No. Because you all said some very hurtful things. Yeah, and you made us shoot you. So I think that we're even. Laurel shot me. You ran away as you tend to do. Interesting, too, isn't it, that you're the only one not in this. Oh, you think that I sent it? Anything's possible with you people. Ooh. 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 One of the many twists and turns <laughs> over the season. I think you said you're episode 12 right now. Episode 12. And, and wait till you see. That's all I can say. So, are we going to be shocked by what happens and You're what's coming? You're always shocked yeah. on this show. Yes. It know. should be how to get away with shock, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, Pete Nowak really pushes the buttons on this, which yeah. I said, that's why I signed up. I don't want to be just warm and fuzzy and likable. I just want to push the buttons. But some of these yeah. scenes, I'm like, hold up. Hold up, yeah. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> you also never know what's around the next corner. I imagine this is one of those shows where you get the script and you look to make sure, like, yeah. you're still around at yeah. the end of it. Seriously, you get a script just a day in advance. And when you're number one on the call sheet, wow. you get even less than that. Wow. And so if there's something in there that makes you uncomfortable, guess what? <laughs> you just have to just, you know, Too dive late. in there. You know, Incredible. especially some of these uh, sexual scenes. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, oh, people have been salacious. loving oh. the salacious. You know, oh, is that kind of fun? Okay. That part of it? Absolutely not, Al. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, you know. It's just another scene. <laughs> That's right, just another day at the office. And that Emmy win of yours, uh, uh, not just the win, but the speech, mm -hmm. was really an amazing moment, which really Love so that. echoes yeah. the, the, the Oscars this year. I mean, the, the call for more diversity behind and in front of the camera. Absolutely. I think that one of the things that people misunderstand is you have to separate opportunity from talent. Mm -hmm. That people feel like if the roles aren't there, that means there's no talent out there. Mm -hmm. That's not true. What's true is that if you create those narratives, then those, those roles can open up to people who are waiting in line. Mm -hmm. They're just, listen, I always say that Meryl Streep would not be Meryl Streep without Sophie's Choice, without Kramer versus Kramer, yeah. without Devil Wears Prada. You can't be a Meryl Streep if you're the third girl from the left in a narrative with two scenes. So you write it and we will come. We'll show up. Mm -hmm. So is that a message to the studios? Who needs to do better in Hollywood right now? That's it. It's the people in positions of power, people who have the green light vote, people who could say yay or nay. That's it. And they're out there. They have the imagination. The thing that stops us a lot of times is fear. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, fear of doing anything different. But I, I have to tell you, I think that when you put talent out there and narratives that are dynamic, people lean in. They want to see it. They want to be moved. They want to feel less alone. That's why I'm an actor. Mm. Viola, you know? this is a conversation, though, that we've had, you know, two years in a row now, and they're already talking about next year, according to some articles that I've been reading, that mm -hmm. doesn't look like a lot of the roles out there are going to have a lot more diversity or the mm -hmm. scripts that are out there right now. Is Do you think Hollywood is conscious of that and there are they really trying to change I don't know about yeah. that but I do know this I do know that especially women out there I'll, I, I'll just say this mm -hmm. that they're not comfortable with just sitting back anymore that they want to play a more active role I know Taraji P Henson I know Kerry Washington mm -hmm. I know Halle Berry they're, they're walking and stepping into their power as producers they're putting the narratives out there that they want to do that they want to see other women of color in. And my whole, I, my whole thing is step up to the plate. Yeah. When you are in a position of power, do something with it. Mm -hmm. You have that one dash, that moment in time. Just put it out there. Listen, it's like my husband said, a closed mouth doesn't get fed. Mm -hmm. True. You know? Yeah. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.